there's any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. That was what my teacher shared with me that changed my life. Starting a few steps from here at that convention. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed, better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better and be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Learn how to handle the seasons better. Let's go through them. Some stuff I did on satellite many, many years ago. Let me just review those notes for you on this getting better part. Learn how to handle the seasons of life. Number one, learn how to handle the winters. We're all gonna go through some winters. Herbalife's been through a few. Just the winters of the calendar in the last 12 years, how many winters? About 12. But it's not just the winters of the calendar. It's not just the winters of the seasons. There's all kinds of winters. The winter when you can't figure it out, the winter when it all goes wrong, the winter when you have all kinds of hecklers on a telephone call, right? The winter when you get that first half dozen refunds, the winters of your life, social winters, political winters that we're going through around the world. Okay. Economic winters that a lot of people are experiencing these days. Personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It is simply called winter time. But here's what you've got to do in your own personal development, your own personal growth, and that is just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You say, well, what can I do about the upcoming winters of my life, the challenges that I know I'm going to face? Here's what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, and better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you, how strong you're gonna be able to become in language, in style, in personality, the ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up, my mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again. And I did it again and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared and I did it when I didn't want to and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well and I didn't did it when they didn't appreciate it. And I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage but the greatest introduction I've ever had, the greatest response and welcome I've ever had, the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul, I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach, until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger, get better. We've all got those personal winters. We know what those are like. Barbara Streisand sings, it used to be so natural to talk about forever, but used to be's don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till we sweep them away. You don't sing me love songs, you don't say you need me, and you don't bring me flowers anymore. A winter song. But hey, we're acquainted with all those personal winters and all the rest of it. The key is not to wish for a better winter. The key is to wish for more strength, more wisdom, more courage, get better, get wiser, get stronger. Here's number two. Learn to take advantage of the spring. Spring means opportunity. And we've got a fresh spring going here. It's called a spring like no other. A spring, an opportunity like no other for you. 
But here's the clue. Spring is not a guarantee of a harvest in the fall, in the autumn, harvest on. Here's what you must learn to do. Underline the two words if you're taking notes. Take advantage. Take advantage of the spring. Don't just be faked out by the spring because the nice weather has come and looks like everything is going to be a lot better. The winter's finally passed. The spring is here. I'm telling you, that's not going to do it for you. Just because the spring is here, it's not going to do it for you. You got to seize it with your own two hands and take advantage. Read the books, study the tapes, go back through your notes, get ready to cash in on the spring. And now there's a sense of urgency here. Here's why. Spring doesn't last that long. To be able to say, I just got back, doesn't last that long. It's called the springtime of opportunity. Postpone a few things in the springtime, get the job done. Set aside a few things in the springtime, get the job done. Where I was raised in Idaho farm country, what if you asked a farmer to go bowling in the spring? What would he probably say? He would say, you're insane. You can go bowling in the winter. When you can't plant the crop, you can't go bowling in the spring, you've only got a certain piece of time and you gotta get it done in that certain window of opportunity. And that's what we've got here, a window of opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. It's called take advantage of the spring. And there's also an urgency here. How many springs have you got in a lifetime? Not very many. Life is brief at the longest. The Beatles wrote, life is very short. And for John Lennon, it was extra short. For Michael Landon, it was extra short. But it is short. There's an urgency here. Don't waste your springs. Don't just let them pass, 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 hoping the time will pass. Take advantage. Last year, it was seize the moment. And I'm asking you now this season to seize the spring opportunity. You got a new organization going, seize the spring. You got a new distributor going, seize the spring. You've got a new life situation going, seize the spring, take advantage of it. Don't let it pass without giving it the best of your two hands and your attention. Number three, first, learn how to handle the winter. Second, take advantage of the spring. Number three, in the summer, learn to nourish and protect. We've got some major challenges now come summertime. One is to nourish our values, take care of them, feed them, don't let them go hungry. Don't let them go wanting in nourishment and care. And then here's something else we've got to do in the summer. Defend ourselves against the enemies. Summertime is a unique time. It's a time of opportunity. It's also a time of challenge. But what else is new? It's what life is called. The last six and a half thousand years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. Opportunity mixed with challenge. We've got a chance to grow like never before, but I'm telling you, there's gonna be many enemies that's gonna to try to prevent us. As soon as you plant the garden, the busy bugs and the noxious weeds are out to take it, and you've got to learn not only to nourish your values, you've got to learn to do battle with your enemies. Whatever threatens you, I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility, but don't take anything off of anybody. Somebody wants to destroy your chances for a good future by their negative talk, negative thinking, putting it all down, I'm telling you, walk away if you have to, walk away. Whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever threatens your opportunity, threaten it back. Now, some of our enemies are on the outside, but here's the most important thing to understand. Some of our enemies are on the inside. Let me give you a quick list. Indifference. You gotta do battle with your own indifference. Boy, it's easy to coast. Especially if you've accomplished something, you know, extraordinary now. Somebody says, I gotta relax. Here's the key, not too long. The weeds will take all you plant if you rest too long. Don't rest too long. Indecision, you gotta make those decisions. The ones that don't turn out to be good gives you experience to make better decisions. Don't let much time go by without making some decisions. The ones that you can make quickly, make them quickly. The ones that take time, take your time, but get those decisions made. Don't let indecision be an enemy, rob you of the future, empty your bank account, leave you with zero in the purse. Don't let that happen. The next one is doubt. 
Sure, there's doubts on the outside. People doubt that America's going to make it. People doubt that Europe's going to make it. People doubt that Russia's going to make it, that Poland's going to make it, that Czechoslovakia's going to make it. They doubt the whole world is going to make it. But I'm asking you not to pick up all those doubts. I'm asking you to have some faith, have some courage, believe, drive your doubts into a small corner. Don't let them loose like a mad dog, drive you into a small corner. Don't doubt the future. Don't doubt the possibilities. Don't doubt the extraordinary gifts that your distributors bring to your organization. Don't doubt that. And here's the most important one of all. Don't doubt yourself. If I've got miracle working power to change my life, so do you. If I've got the ability to change, so do you. If I've got the ability to read, so do you. If I can discover, so can you. If I can grow, you can grow. If I can develop, you can develop. If I can get an invitation like I got six years ago, help take something around the world, so can you. If I can stand on this platform, Idaho farm boy raising obscurity, so can you. If the millionaire team can do it, president's team can do it, walk off with the diamonds, the trophies, so can you. I'm asking you, don't sell yourself short. We haven't sold you short. That's why Mark, Larry, and Dr. Katzen and I have decided to invest a big share of our life these four days in being with all of you. If we didn't think you were worth it, we wouldn't have showed up. We don't need to conduct another meeting. We don't need to walk on another stage. We don't need to get up early like we get up. Don't need it, except for the challenge and the opportunity to invest in this many people's lives. Who wouldn't get up early? To have a chance to work miracles and invest in this many people's lives and help turn the world upside down for better nutrition called herbal life. Here's the next one, worry. I'm asking you to drive worry into a small corner. You gotta worry some. All this negative stuff serves serve some purpose, but the key is for you to be the master, not the servant. If it's two o'clock in the morning and your daughter's not home yet, best you worry. In New York City, if you step off the curb and one of those yellow taxis is coming, best you worry. <laughs> but here's what I'm asking you to do. You be the master of worry. Drive it into a small corner. Don't let it loose. And I'm asking you to go home with some new faith and some new courage. I'm asking you, don't worry. Drive it into a small corner. We've all got concerns, and sometimes we all wonder, and sometimes there's a little crack of doubt. We worry a little, but I'm telling you, drive it into a small corner. Drive your worries into a small corner. I promise you from this platform, the dedication of the executives that you've seen and the president's team members and the people that have walked off with one through 10, I'm telling you, we're all dedicated to help this Herbalife future that includes all of you be the most spectacular thing that's happened in the 90s. I promise you not to worry because you're in good hands. You're in good hands. satellite many many years ago let me just review those notes for you on this getting better part learn how to handle the seasons of life number one learn how to handle the winters we're all going to go through some winters Herbalife's been through you just the winters of the calendar in the last 12 years how many winters about 12 but it's not just the winters of the calendar it's not just the winters of the seasons there's all kinds of winters the winter when you can't figure it out, the winter when it all goes wrong, the winter when you have all kinds of hecklers on a telephone call, right? The winter when you get that first half dozen refunds, 
important winters of your life. Social winters, political winters that we're going through around the world. Okay. Economic winters that a lot of people are experiencing these days. Personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It is simply called winter time. But here's what you've got to do in your own personal development, your own personal growth, and that is just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You say, well, what can I do about the upcoming winters of my life, the challenges that I know I'm going to face? Here's what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, and better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you, how strong you're going to be able to become in language, in style, in personality, the ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up, my mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again. And I did it again.